Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Steffi learns Sheila is unarmed, Deacon reacts to Finn's grim news. The bold and the beautiful, BMB spoilers for Friday March 1st state that Rich Forrester, Torsten K, noted Hope Logan, Annika Noel, was silent as everyone processed the news of Sheila Carter's, Kimberlyn Brown, death. Hope stated that she was having difficulty accepting the idea that Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes would, murdered her husband's birth mother, knowing that John, Finn, Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, would have a difficult time reconciling that. Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, argued that Steffi took Sheila out in self-defense, hoping that Finn had accepted the situation by now. Rich believed that Steffi needed her husband's support and eventually resolved to return to Steffi's apartment in case Finn didn't stand up. Rich declined Carter Walton's, Lawrence St. Victor, offered to accompany him and deal with the cops because he did not want it to appear like Steffi had done anything illegal. Finn mused at the cliff home about losing sleep as a child while worrying about his birth mother. Finn treasured the opportunity to meet the woman who had given him life. Even after Finn discovered who Sheila actually was, he was still heartbroken over never seeing her again because his own wife murdered her in their home. Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, defended herself once more, but Finn heard the sirens approaching and fled since he couldn't cope with the cops just now. Deputy Chief Bradley Baker, Dan Martin, arrived to interview Steffi about what happened, so she mentioned hearing a banging noise before the electricity went out. When Steffi noticed a shadow and knew Sheila was around, she stated Sheila approached and reached for something in her pocket, as if she was going to shoot her. Deputy Chief Baker stated that no gun or weapon was found on Sheila. Even so, Steffi stated that it appeared Sheila was about to shoot her, and because Sheila had done it before, Steffi believed she could do it again. Steffi discussed grabbing a knife and stabbing Sheila after she lunged at her. Baker said Steffi was confessing she stabbed Sheila so Steffi verified it and claimed it was in self-defense. When Baker began asking questions about Sheila lunging without a weapon, Ridge arrived to end the interrogation. Baker felt he was done for the time being, but promised to ask more questions later. Ridge reminded Steffi that she would not be addressing them without an attorney and Baker left. When Ridge questioned where Finn was, Steffi said she didn't know because he had left. Ridge believed that Steffi's spouse should be there for her right now, so he hugged her and asked where the hell Finn was. On Friday's BMB episode, Hope realized Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon, would be distraught and decided she should tell the news about Sheila. Deacon followed Finn out of I.L. Giardino after seeing him run by, looking distraught. Finn wound himself in Sheila's apartment, where he looked at a framed portrait of her and became tearful about her sweater. Deacon found Finn and had a lot of questions about what occurred. Finn stated that the cops had arrived at his house and that Sheila would not be returning, so Deacon inquired as to whether Steffi had arrested her. When Finn stated that this was not the case, he described how Sheila broke into the cliff home and confronted Steffi, who stabbed her in self-defense. Finn hated having to inform Deacon that Sheila had died. Deacon's look was a combination of confusion, regret, and wrath. Finn reiterated that Steffi killed Sheila in self-defense after Deacon said so openly. Finn apologized for Sheila's absence, but Deacon raced out the door. When Hope went in looking for her father, Finn acknowledged that he had already given Deacon information on Sheila's dire situation. Finn questioned whether he should have told Deacon, who appeared shaken up. Finn added that he should detest Sheila after claiming that he shouldn't be offended after all of Sheila's shenanigans. Why don't I hate her? Finn inquired, his emotions flowing forth. Rich felt Finn should regard Sheila as an animal who received what she deserved, but Sheila was still Finn's mother. Finn stated he wouldn't see Sheila again, so Hope hurried to his side and again apologized. Hope drew Finn into a hug as she tried to comfort her. According to the bold and the beautiful teasers, Finn's mind is currently a mess, so he'll have a lot to go through in the upcoming episodes. Sheila reveals to Deacon. She's alive, can't leave true love in the dark? According to the bold and the beautiful, BNB teasers, Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown, may surprise Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon, if she returns to his doorstep alive. Fans of BNB will recall that Sheila had previously visited Deacon in need of a hiding place and an ally who could keep a secret. With speculations developing that Sugar the doppelganger was the one who was slain, there's a strong chance Sheila is fine and may resurface at some point. Sheila was upset when Deacon canceled their wedding, but she still loves him. Sheila didn't appear angry enough to walk out of Deacon's life and never look back. Maybe Sheila will teach Deacon a lesson by allowing him to grieve for a bit. 
Deacon will be saddened when he learns about Sheila's tragic destiny, so perhaps she will try to show him how much he stands to lose. After Deacon has mourned in sorrow for as long as Sheila thinks fit, he may be reunited with a very alive Sheila. It's easy to see Sheila ultimately revealing herself and telling Deacon a bizarre story. Sheila and Deacon have tried numerous times to avoid each other, but it never seems to work. If Sheila is still out there someplace, it's difficult to believe that this time will be different. Sheila may be pulled to Deacon again, but how would he respond if she discreetly returns home to him at some point? Deacon's horror at Sheila might evolve to relief, uncertainty, and, eventually, resentment for leading him to feel he had lost her forever. There may also be doubts regarding Sheila's motivations and how she staged a false death. Sheila may have a jaw-dropping story to share about her look-like sooner or later, but we'll have to wait and see whether she appears alive again. Regardless, Sheila can't remain concealed indefinitely if she covertly survived as we assume. Perhaps Sheila can console Deacon in his time of need by disclosing her existence and convincing him to maintain her secret while she plots against Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInniswood. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Sheila and Deacon's relationship may be tested more than ever before. Steffi looks guilty, Rich contacts Baker, and Hope comforts Finn. The bold and the beautiful spoilers according to the latest update on Friday, March 1st, Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInniswood, is looking guilty not only to John, Finn, Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, but also to the police. Rich Forrester reaches out to Detective Baker, Dan Martin. Finn turns towards Hope Logan, Annika Noel. BMB Spoilers, Steffi Forrester needs help. The bold and the beautiful according to spoilers, Steffi could be in serious danger for killing Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown. Steffi's tale just doesn't add up to the cops and no weapon has been indicated that Sheila can use against Steffi. Steffi, on the other hand, maintains that Sheila lunged at her, prompting her to defend herself. Steffi urged Sheila to go or she would protect herself, but Sheila persisted to approach Steffi. However, Steffi says that she didn't see a firearm and assumed Sheila was going to shoot her. How will Steffi show that Sheila had a weapon and planned to harm her? The law does not believe there was one at all. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Rich Forrester turns to Chief Deputy Baker. Steffi believes she did the right thing when she phoned the police immediately following Sheila's death. However, Steffi made no mention of their earlier confrontation at Sheila's flat, which she engineered, but why? Deacon will most certainly report this to the police as soon as he learns of Sheila's death. Unfortunately for Steffi, nothing had worked against Sheila thus far. The cops were dissatisfied with Steffi's account of the entire incident, which did not work with them. The bold and the beautiful spoilers update Friday, March 1st. Steffi appears guilty, Rich contacts Baker, and Hope comforts Finn. Something does not seem right about this entire story. The police are considering if Sheila was slain to relieve Steffi's mind. Finn and the cops are both perplexed by this, so Rich sought assistance from Baker. BMB Spoilers John Finnegan turns to Hope Logan neither Rich nor Thomas blames Steffi for her actions and will support her. Of course, Liam Spencer will help Steffi as well. Finn, on the other hand, will visit Sheila's residence in order to feel closer to his mother. Hope will want to check on Deacon and ensure that he is okay. Deacon adored Sheila and will undoubtedly need some consolation himself. Finn simply cannot stay in that cliff house knowing that his mother died on the floor of his house and that he was not present to help. Sheila might have been a terrible lady to some, but she was still his mother. Hope will console Finn, but will it go too far now that he needs someone to understand? Is this the start of Hope and Steffi battling over another man?